car guys one. Immaculate. It is like musicians. This is the this is the car guy to trust. <laughs> he knows. The bloke with the moat. This guy keeps all of our band's cars on the road. Yes, motor engineer, <laughs> not mechanic. <laughs> you spell mechanic wrong, comes out as maniac. Plenty of them in this game. <laughs> I had a really interesting conversation with Bruce about three months ago. We were chatting and he was just saying, you know, he's just, he's just come out of doing some consultancy work and he was just saying, I just want to have some time where he just goes out on the beach, goes out on, the, on, on his boat, goes fishing. And he's like, I just want to have some, some relaxing time. I just, you know, I don't want to have anything in my life which is too complicated. I just want to do family stuff. I want to do sea stuff. I want to do fishing, maybe some band stuff. And he said, that, that's all I want at the moment. And he said, what do you want? And I said, I want to wake up every day and I want to work until I fall over. Yeah. And the idea of retiring scares the shit out of me. So yeah. I'm thinking for the next 30 years of my life, as far as I am at the moment, all I want to do is just work, which is very weird. Now, I, I completely understand that most people in the world, if anyone watches this or if anyone's just, just hears that, they'll just think, mm, that's not what I want. Mm. So I don't want... I don't want people to, to have to think like me because I understand that I've got a bit of a weird, fucked up mentality where I enjoy it. So, and those, those are just my issues of, I, I want to work. Hey guys, uh, so I'm just off to a meeting. I'm taking you with me. At the moment, I'm struggling with time, just trying to fit everything in. So I've decided that a lot of the stuff I'm gonna try and do is a bit more on the go. Um, because actually finding an hour or so to prepare these videos, do the videos, get them out, and actually deal with the fallout of it all, it's just taking up a lot of time. So at the moment, it's gonna be a lot easier if I can actually be doing this on the go. So, but today, I have a challenge for you. I would like you to do either a Snapchat, preferably a Snapchat, or an Instagram takeover. So I want you to go and find possibly another band, possibly a rehearsal room, possibly a recording studio. I want you to get in touch with them. I want you to say, let us as a band do a Snapchat takeover. And what you're gonna do is for one day only, you're gonna market it on your Facebook, you're gonna market it on all your stuff. You can find someone to let you take over their Snapchat. And then what you're gonna do is on that day, you are gonna vlog your entire day. You're gonna, you're gonna, let's not get killed by a car. Uh, you are going to say, uh, on that day, you're going to talk a bit about the band, you're going to promote the, 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 the product or whoever you've taken it over with, <clears throat> and that's the way you're going to do a collab, because people keep asking me about collabs. How do we do collabs? How do we do collabs? Well, you bring value to people. That's what a collab is. And in fact, if you're going to, if you're going to come up with the question of, uh, of getting someone to do a collab, then a the big thing is you have to provide more value because you're the one asking the question. So therefore, if you just say, give us your Snapchat for 24 hours, and we will do some really exciting, interesting stuff, not just about our bands, but we'll really push your rehearsal room, your recording studio, or your band, we'll do some interesting stuff, uh, and see if you get a yes answer. Because I think, I think as social media goes, I think it'll be something that takes off quite a lot with these kind of takeovers. You've seen it quite a lot on big marketers where their companies are being taken over. So, uh, so that's my challenge for the day. So right, we're off to a meeting, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> How are you doing? It's the end of the day um, and I've got a bunch of stuff I need to do. I can't take you with me. I've got a few meetings I can't take you in. Um, and then at 7pm I've got a Facebook Live. Now, um, you won't get this till Thursday or Friday, but every Wednesday, 7pm, I do a Facebook Live question and answer session. So come and join me, be a part of it, ask questions, learn um, and get some experience from, from, from things that we're doing and other people's comments that, that go on at the bottom. So come and join me every Wednesday, 7pm. Uh, which I'll be doing in a couple of hours. Um, I'm just uploading today's video, which should go live. Um, 
and that's kind of what's happening today really it's quite a, it's been a it's been a busy day and so hopefully you guys will see me tomorrow um if not oh no i'm on a gig i'm on a gig tomorrow i'm on a gig for thursday friday saturday it's a, it's a mental weekend so I'll, I'll try and get some more content out but if not uh, i'll be seeing you soon so we'll leave the vlog there peace How are you doing? It's the end of the day.